you know that you are in a healthy church, mm, the pointer to a healthy church is a church that centers her doctrine on Christ. Hmm? The way to know that you are in an healthy environment is not where you go today and they say, when you are coming tomorrow, come with all your working tools. But when we talk about the doctrine, they continued in the apostles' doctrine because they were taught and trained by God. So the value system of the kingdom has been imputed into them and they are now working in that value. And because they are working in that value system, a culture has been built deliberately and intentionally. Now it's going to flow organically because it's a part of them like hand and glove. If you are me, say amen. So when you are in a place where Jesus is not being taught, because you have been with Jesus, it is easy. It is easy. You don't need to say, Ah, Shabana, Mama, Mama. Are you here? Just listen to the teaching. When you listen to the teaching and you listen to the instruction, you will know if Jesus indeed is where? In that place. So, and to know the doctrine is for you to be in the will of God. This is one of the reasons why it's a a very dangerous thing and a very slippery, slippery ground. Why people started accurately and their ending is becoming questionable. Once they leave the center of God's will, their interpretative venture in scripture changes. Are you getting me today? Are you with me? They begin to change. You know why? Because they are no longer in the center of the will of God. However, they know the Bible. They can still speak. The fact that you speak doesn't mean you are still pushing doctrine. The fact that people are clapping and saying, yes, no more tight, doesn't mean you are preaching the word of God. The fact that you are, do you understand this? So it is easy for you to see someone. You say, ah, but these miracles are still happening. Yes, Satan performs miracles. I don't want that don't know your Bible. Satan does miracles too. Praise the Lord. So he said, he that speaketh of himself, seeketh his own glory. But he that seeketh his glory, that sent him, the same is true. And no unrighteousness in him. So, sir, ma, the way you know is when somebody stands, his focal point, his desire is to speak of the one that sent him and not himself. Are we beginning to see how apostolic culture evolves? Apostolic culture says that de-emphasize yourself and emphasize Jesus. Apostolic culture says that de-emphasize your experience and emphasize Jesus. It says de-emphasize your glory and accentuate the glory of Jesus. Is somebody with me? So this is how we enter the blueprint. We must be conscious of doing the will of God. The will of God is a central handle to judge doctrine. And the will of God in doctrine is Jesus. That for me to understand the doctrine, the blueprint eh, in, 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 in an apostolic setting, first thing is instructions. You know, there are people who have received instructions and they say to them, for you to come out of this course, you will take this water, you put it outside. Five o'clock in the morning, you wake up and come naked, you open and you drink. I want time. All your enemies, they will begin to die. Now, is that the doctrine of Christ? Was that what the Bible said? Some will say, you take salt, put in water, and bathe. Some will say, do amala, hot agidi, put it on the four corners of the road. They do it even in England. The more you see all those things, you already know that this is not the doctrine of Christ. What do you do? You dust your feet. And you move. But some of you will now come and say, is this the will of God for me to leave that place? Me, she will answer you. <laughs> when it is very clear what you have been taught, you see, this place is a sacred place. What you do is you plunge men into Jesus. Any church where you are, where the center focal point is not Christ, dust your feet. That one you don't need to bring. Locate a vibrant church. A vibrant church is not a shouting church. Amen? Mm. A vibrant church is not a comedic church. 
A vibrant church is not a miraculous church. Miracles are not for believers. You don't want to hear that. Miracles. The, the meaning of the word miracle is intervention. You are not a person of intervention. You are a person. You are not even a person of visitation. In the New Testament, you are not a person of visitation. You are not a person of intervention. You are a person of habitation. Your body, your life is a habitant for God. You